Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Real Sports Updates here, back again with another video. So today's video, I wanted to get into the unheralded safety for the Chargers, Nasir Adderley. Now he is personally, he's one of my favorite players in the Chargers. I like his style. Um, I think he's very, very, very talented. Um, I think he has had a little bit of trouble uh, with his footing in the NFL. I don't think he has footing yet. I think it's coming. But I don't think that he has really gotten his legs up underneath him, uh, you know, to be able to, to show off and to showcase all of his talent. So basically, I think this year Adderley is going to have a very, very good season. I think he's going to have a very productive season based off of, you know, everything that the Chargers have done, all of the, the transactions and all that stuff. Obviously, that's going to help. But I think this year Adderley is talented and I think he's one of the guys kind of came along slower and, you know, this happens uh this happens more so in the NFL than the guys who just come in like the Michael Parsons and you know just ready to play from day one right there's more slow development that happens in the NFL and I think Nasir Adderley is one of these guys um you know he was a very very good player um in college in Delaware um at the University of Delaware he was excellent excellent player um he had excellent range and the one thing you know watching his tape you know, when the Chargers drafted him in the second round, watching his tape, I was like, OK, this guy is he, he is like an Ed Reed type of player. He's an Ed Reed type of safety who can come up and give you run support. But he also has the range in the back end. Right. He can cover the deep middle of the field. He can do that really, really well. Um, and he also is a guy who was a ball hawk in college. He was a ball hawk. He was always where the ball was. And anytime you see a safety that's always around the ball, you know that they are locked in and you know that they are focused. Right. And, you know, that they're typically guys who watch a lot of film. Right. They're always always in their film um, and they pretty much know what to expect. Right. From week to week, uh, you know, just depending on what the offense that they're facing is, they know what to expect. And I think Nasir Adderley is like Nasir Adderley is that guy now. Coming into the league, I think he struggled a little bit, um, not even a little bit. I think he struggled a lot in the Gus Bradley defense. Um, now, you know, and I've, I had a lot to, I've always had a lot to say about the Gus Bradley defense. I always thought that that was a unique defense. That was a unique style of defense that he could play when he was when he was the defensive coordinator in Seattle. He could play that defense with the guys that he had there. Now, you know, there was a lot of you know, copycatism, there always is in the NFL, you know, when something catches on, there's always, you know, teams that are going to try to mimic that, you know, and try to mimic the success that, you know, another team has had. So there's always copycats, but Gus Bradley getting hired to coach the Jaguars based off of the talent on defense that he had, the Hall of Fame talent that he had on defense that he had. I thought that that was crazy at the time. And it turns out that I, I've, I've, pretty much been right because Gus Bradley has been around this league as a defensive coordinator and he hasn't sniffed a head coaching position since then and you're not going to sniff a head coaching position if you have the legion of boom and that Seattle defense right you can't carry that defense with you everywhere you go all you can carry is the scheme and to be honest with you the scheme is weak if you don't have Hall of Famers playing that scheme, the scheme is weak. Um, it's like, you know, the the, the Tampa Bay, uh, uh, the Buccaneers that won that Super Bowl, right? The Tampa 2. There's been a bunch of teams throughout the league who have played Tampa 2. And if you don't have Hall of Famers playing it, then it is just another defense that, you know, good quarterbacks can shred. So this year, Adderley struggled under Gus Bradley. And, you know, I noticed that, you know, he didn't really play in his first year. But in the second year, um, he seemed like he was trying to mimic uh earl thomas a little bit to me that's what it looked like he looked like he was trying to mimic earl thomas um you know with the the really really aggressive hits you know putting his head down and 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 you know head hunting a little bit you know and not that, that that's not the worst thing in the world you know but it seemed like he was trying to be somebody who he wasn't it looked like he was out of sorts because he wasn't playing the same style of football that he played in college you're right just going and looking back at his tape it wasn't the same type of football that he played in college so i think he struggled a little bit now i think brandon staley brought him back last year and i think his confidence came back a little bit last year he was very good last year he was very good patrolling the middle of the field last year um he came up and he tackled a lot better last year as well too than he did um the previous year but i think he still has some growing to do 
And I think this season is really going to be his breakout season. And, I, and you know, you see the title and you see the thumbnail that I made. I think he can have a Pro Bowl season because he has the tools. He has the tools to be one of the best safeties in the league, right? He is – he's not – He's a prototypical size, right, for a safety, you know, 6'1", 205, whatever it is, right? But he's very fast and he's very rangy. And the thing I think that can really take him over the top to, to, to that Pro Bowl level is going back to being a ball hawk, right? Going back to really looking to take the ball away because that's something that he did extremely well in college. I think he had 11 or 12 interceptions in his college career, right? Which is pretty damn good for college and pretty damn good, you know, playing at Delaware, right? Which is not a, it's not an NFL factory, right? So if he goes back to trying to take the ball away, I think he can really, I think he can really, really turn some heads because he's got everything that you need. He's got everything that you want in a safety. Um, The one thing about him, he's fearless. He will come up and he will hit. He'll come up and he'll hit. Um, You know, like I said, he did a better job tackling last year. Uh, You know, his second year in the league, he was just head hunting. He wasn't wrapping up. But he did. He actually did a better job tackling. And, you know, you can bring as much intensity as you want to. As long as you wrap up and tackle and get the guy to the ground, that's really all all you need. Right. So he did that really well last year. He, he, He improved much improved. Now, if he takes the ball away, he can be a pro bowler. But I think his success is going to come off of what Brandon Staley does in this defense, um, how exotic they decide to get, right? How exotic they decide to get with the blitzes and all of that stuff because he's going to be patrolling the middle of the field um, for, you know, most of the season, right? If he doesn't get injured and all of that stuff, he will be in the middle of the field. So if he patrols the middle of the field the way that he's supposed to, he will get plenty of opportunities to get interceptions. He'll get plenty of opportunities to come up and, you know, knock knock balls away from receivers, right? Try to separate, uh, you know, receivers from the ball, try to uh, separate tight ends from the ball. He's going to have his opportunities to do that because this defense is going to call for it. Now, I think he's going to be – he's probably going to be the biggest beneficiary from this improved defense. Um, he's going to be a guy that – he's going to have those opportunities. Now, he has to – capitalize those opportunities i know he had a, a a couple of couple of interceptions that he dropped last year and I'm, I'm thinking of 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 like two right now just off the top of my head so when those opportunities present themselves he has to capitalize on them. he has to to you know do his job and do his part in that but he is going to get multiple opportunities and if he returns to the style of play that he had in college right and I know that, you know, you, you have to change your game up a little bit when you get into the NFL, but his priority should be the middle of the field. His priority should be, you know, reading the quarterback, breaking on the ball, you know, no matter which way it goes, you know, that's what he really, really needs to focus on because opportunity is going to be there. The, the, the DBs are going to do their job. The defensive line is going to do their job as well, too. They're going to get pressure on the quarterback. There's going to be some 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 balls out there that he's going to have a chance on. There's going to be some underthrown balls. There's going to be some ducks that uh, quarterbacks are going to throw, you know, while getting hit by Bosa or Khalil Mack or whatever. He's got to come up. He's got to make those opportunities. They're going to be there. And, you know, I think if he is if he plays more like Ed Reed than Earl Thomas, I think he'll be in a much better place. He'll be in a good place to get paid as well, too, because he he was a second round draft pick. So uh, this is the last year of his rookie contract. So he'll be in a good place to get paid, um, you know, in the offseason. And then, you know, he'll be in a much better place than he was, you know, even last year. You know, the, the, the good year that he had last year, he'll be in, in an even better place than that. The Chargers defense will be in a better place than that. And then, you know, success is going to come from all of that. If all these guys start doing their job, if all these guys start getting their footing underneath them, success, team success will come. And I kind of wanted to just cover Nasir Adderley because I think he is a guy, he has so much untapped potential. And I think this is the season for him to really, really put it together. Um, He's got all the tools. Uh, you know, he comes from a, a, a very, very good background. I believe his grandfather is a Hall of Famer, Herb Adderley. I think he played with the Packers. Um, so he's got the pedigree. He's got all the tools. He's got the aggressiveness, right? He's got the ability to cover the middle of the field. He's got the ability to go after the ball. Um, he can do all of it. He can do all of it as a safety. Um, and as a modern-day safety in this league who is, you know, playing playing against a lot of 
good offenses, a lot of good uh, tight ends who can catch the ball, run out of the catch, all of that stuff. He's got all the tools, and I think he puts it together this year. I think this defense helps him out a lot. I think uh, Brandon Staley puts him in positions where he can really succeed um, and positions where he can just go out and play football and not think about it too much, right? I think he's going to simplify what he he wants from, from Adderley. Um, having Derwin James back there is going to help him a lot too because Derwin's going to put him in good positions um, just like he did last year. Uh, you know, Derwin James was injured, you know, two years ago when, when Adderley, when he first took the field in the second year. So Derwin James, I think, had a lot to do with his success last year. Um, and now they're getting another year uh, with this Brandon Staley defense. They're getting more familiar. So I think he's going to have an even better season. Like I said, he can be a pro bowler. If he puts the stats up, you know, especially as far as interceptions go, takeaways, forced fumbles, all of that stuff. If he puts those stats up, he can be a pro bowler. Um, and honestly, that's what I'm expecting of him because he is a talented guy. So this is year number four, contract year. It's time for him to put it together. Um, and I think he will. And I think it's going to do a lot for the team as well, too. I think it's going to go towards a lot of team success that the Chargers are going to have. And, you know, hopefully it, it parlays itself into, you know, a long playoff run. You know, hopefully they, they, they can put it together as a team and, you know, do some damage in the playoffs. But. Again, I think Nasir Adderley's got it. I think he's got to put it together this year, and I think he will. You know, I'm, I'm very confident in that. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to watch him, you know, turn some of these 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 quarterbacks over, you know, uh, particularly in the AFC West. You know, I want to see him pick off Russell Wilson. I want to see him pick off uh, Mahomes, Derek Carr. I want to, see, you know, he, he's he's going to have the opportunities every pretty much every single game. He's going to get multiple opportunities. So, you know, look for him to have a big season. Um, you know, if you see him – out there balling, you know, think back to this video because he, he's going to have a big season and he's been, you know, turning heads in camp as well, too. So this has been, you know, a, a very good camp for a lot of guys. And I think, you know, if they all put it together the way that they are expected to, this is going to be a very good season for the Chargers. And if you're a Charger fan, be excited because uh, the season's going to start pretty soon. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully they put it together. You know, this is all on paper right now, but you know, as the season uh, progresses closer and, you know, these guys keep balling in practice, they keep balling in, in training camp, we'll see. We'll see how they put it together. But, you know, I'm very excited at this point right now. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I'll be back again tomorrow with more content. Um, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I want to thank you guys for all of the support, all of the views, all of the likes. Um, and shout out to all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Um, I really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to get the channel, you know, trying to get the channel up and running and I'm trying to get the channel, you know, a little bit more exposure. You know, I I, I really want to get into a lot of detail when the season starts. So um, definitely thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. And um, that's all I got for this one, guys. Until next time.